Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today, folks, I've got a really interesting pedal to show you and one that is, on the surface at least, deceivingly simple looking. Now, I bought this pedal over the summer, I think it was, a good few months ago, but in the time I've owned it, it's become a really valuable tool for me, especially when recording. And this is it here, the Small Trees from Audio Kitchen in London. Now, many of you might have come across Audio Kitchen as an amplifier company, that's primarily what they do. And in their lineup, they have a small kind of amplifier in a pedal format to fit on your board called the Big Trees. So I think from memory it's a 2.5 watt amplifier based around a single EL84 power tube designed for studio and home use and it sounds amazing. But that pedal has two kind of sides to it and the green side is a single knobbed clean boost buffer line driver type affair. And what Steve Crow at Audio Kitchen noticed was that players were using just that side of the pedal to boost into their rig and kind of make everything sound a little bit better and more exciting. So he took that green side of the big trees, put it into a smaller enclosure and created the small trees. Now, in this pedal is a single 12 AU7 tube, and that's what creates the clean gain. So it's a very low gain tube. I think it's about a fifth of the gain factor of a 12 AX7. So this pedal won't gain up on its own. It's just a clean boost. But in my time with it, you can use it in lots of different ways for different effects. So I'm gonna try and show you all three of the ways I found to use this pedal in the video today. So the first is using it as a kind of always on unity buffer type thing to make everything sound a little bit more sparkly. When you turn your guitar's volume knob down, it retains more clarity overall and just makes everything sound a little bit more exciting. And being a tube based pedal, it does impart a little bit of its own character on it onto your sound as well. It's not squeaky clean, but it's not too colored either. It's just the right balance in my opinion. The second is using it as a boost. So today I'm going to set my amp kind of on the edge of breakup, a little bit crunchy, to show you how you can use this to hit the signal into your amp harder and drive your amplifier's tubes. But the other way, which a lot of people probably won't consider, is using it as an underdrive, because this pedal goes below Unity as you turn it below 12 o'clock. So you can set your amp gainy and then turn the pedal on to cut the level, which is a little bit counterintuitive, but the beauty of doing that is it kind of buffers the signal and keeps everything a lot more sparkly clean than it does just rolling your guitar's volume down. So it is a bit of a Swiss army knife, even though it is just a one knob clean boost pedal. So I'm gonna try and show you those three different applications today. So I'm going to use my Gibson SG into my Dr. Z Z-Rec, which is a really sort of nice sparkly AC30 type amp. And as I said, set it just a little bit crunchy to show you what magic the small trees can work. So without further ado, folks, here we go.
So there we are folks. Now please do comment underneath, let me know what you thought of the small trees today. I love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you folks down in the comment sections. Now to me, despite being just a one knob pedal and not creating any gain on its own, this really is a super valuable tool to have in your guitar rig because you can use it in all those situations. As a unity buffer, it just adds a little bit of kind of a sparkle on the top of everything. When you turn your guitar's volume down, it retains more clarity than not having this in line. And it just brings things to life a little bit, especially with that tube in there, adding a little bit of kind of vibe and character and insert buzzword here. Using it as a boost to hit your tubes harder, it sounds amazing. Using it as an underdrive to have your crunchy amp clean up, but in a sparkly way, much more so than just turning your guitar's volume down, it works amazingly well for that as well. So I'm building my 2022 pedal board at the moment. This is going right at the start of it as my always on buffer and slight boost, but I can still turn it off if I want to use a fuzz pedal, which is one of the most important things for me. Now, this is not a cheap pedal whatsoever, especially for a single knob boost pedal. And you can spend as much on this as some people spend on their entire amplifier. But when you get into kind of the world I live in, which is handmade pickups, and today I'm using a Dr. Z Z-Rec, which is a kind of as good a quality AC30 type concept as you can get, designed by Dr. Z and Gen Fisher of Trainwreck fame. Really nice Alnico speakers. Once you get into that world, this is one of those pedals that just makes sense. And as soon as I turn it off or take it out of my rig, I miss it. It just makes everything that couple of percent better that just makes me want to play guitar. It's a really inspiring pedal to have in your rig and use in those different circumstances. So I'm blown away by this pedal. I think it sounds amazing. The noise floor is pretty low considering it's a tube pedal. The boost is great. The underdrive is great. The buffering effect is great. It just adds that sort of fairy dust on the top of everything to bring your guitar sound to life. But please do let me know what you think, folks. I love getting your thoughts and opinions on all this sort of stuff and chatting with you guys in the comments. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I hope this video was interesting and useful for you. Please do carry on subscribing. I know I always say it, but it makes a huge difference when you do that. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.